In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the concap function. We use the concap function when we want to join two or more cells together. So I'm going to go ahead and start in D4, navigate to the Formulas tab, the Text Group. I'll select Concat. For Text 1, I'm going to click on cell A4. For Text 2, I'm going to click on cell B4, and then I'll click OK. And as you can see, it has joined the two cells together. However, I would like a space between the first and the last name. So to do this, I'm going to go ahead and go back into this function box here to show you, is instead of having B4 right here, I'm going to type quote space quote, and this will indicate that I do want a blank space there, and then for text 3, that's where I'll enter B4. And then I press enter, and as you can see it is fixed this to show the first and last name with the space. This time I'll go ahead and use the autocomplete technique to show you how to do this. So I would start by typing my equal and then begin to type the concat. Double click on concat right here. In this spot it's asking me for text 1 so I click on the first name comma. For text 2 I'm going to do quote space quote comma and then for text 3, I'm going to go ahead and click on B4, and then I end with my right parenthesis and enter. I would be able to autofill this down like so. You also have the ability to add specific text to the end of the joined cells. So for example, if I were in the IT department and I needed to create user accounts for each of these people, I would be able to join the cells and then add the at and whatever the new email address would be. To get started, I'm going to go ahead and go to formulas, text, concat. For text 1, I'll click A4. For text 2, I'll click B4. And in text 3, I'm going to type quote and then the email address. And end with the quote and then click OK. And as you can see, it has joined the first and last name at, and then it shows the email address. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that on down. And that's it. That's how you use the concap function. Just a quick note, those of you that have an older version of Excel, you would have the concatenate function instead of the concat function.